Backyard Brains brings you a new experiment demonstrating the effect of oxygen on spikes. You don't need two spiker boxes to do this, though you may find it easier. You do need two cockroach legs, though. Set up the cockroach legs similarly to the experiments you have done before. For the purposes of this experiment, the cockroach leg on the orange spiker box will be the control, and the cockroach leg on the wooden spiker box, the experimental. Now the leg is still alive and requires oxygen. The only way it gets oxygen is via diffusion through the open wound in the leg. If we liberally apply petroleum jelly to the leg, perhaps we can cut off the oxygen supply and see its effect on your own spiking rate. Notice I am now starting the stopwatch timer. One minute into the experiment, both legs are still producing spikes. Coming back from lunch break, you can hear the control leg producing spikes, but what about the experimental? The spikes are gone. But can we make the spikes return? What if we remove all the petroleum jelly carefully from the cockroach leg, such that oxygen can now diffuse back into the inner tissue? Let's restart the stopwatch. Spikes are still going strong in the control leg. And the spikes are back in the experimental leg. Let's do it again. Restart the stopwatch and apply petroleum jelly to the experimental leg. And the spikes disappear. But the control leg is still producing spikes. Now repeat the removal of the petroleum jelly carefully, and restart your stopwatch. Have the spikes returned in the experimental leg? Control still good. Two hours and 17 minutes later, the spikes are back the second time around. You probably noticed I was a bit sloppy in how often I did my time checks, though in general I observed that spikes took longer to come back than they did to go away. Can you make more precise measurements? Please do let us know. Backyard Brains, Neuroscience for Everyone.